Uh, there's someone is alive in the studio here. It's uh, infamous Jay Moore. That was sounding good. Good <laughs> little funky music there, Pat Porter. Hey, yeah, yeah, good stuff. The Rick Rose playlist. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what was that? Uh, James Brown. I love a little James, James Brown. Brown. That's what we need to do. We need to do a James Brown tribute show. That we, would be we great. We can get up. We can dance around the floor yeah, here. Yeah, that would be great. That yeah. would be great. James Brown tribute show coming soon to the infamous Jay Moore <laughs> show with Pat Porter. That's me. That's him. Yeah. And it's uh, Saturday afternoon. How are you feeling, Pat? Uh, pretty good today. Yeah. Pretty good. 4680Q.ca. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Uh, you know, I thought after Labor Day, everything would kind of slow down and die. No. But, uh, no. no. We're always uh, spending money, breaking necks, and cash and checks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> you got yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. You got boxing next week. Yeah. I got pro wrestling November 18th. I'm just going to show that out. Right off the top of the show, Pat So Porter. you have pro wrestling on Wednesday, the 18th, then, No. Eh? Wednesday, the 18th. I said November the 18th. Oh, That's November. A Saturday. All right, all right. Um, it's just been announced. Sean Spears. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Uh, Grand Independent Champion for the Neo Pro Wrestling Organization. That's some good people coming in. Defending his title against Tarek. That match was announced last weekend, and uh, that's going to be a, a barn burner, they call it, in the yeah. wrestling business. Yes. Tarek's a, a sight to fear as well. When you yes. Look at him. Punch, you know. kick, chop. Yeah, he, he tears yeah. it up. That's yeah. going to be a great match. Pat Porter, also Peyton Royce. Oh, yeah. Coming in. Yes, you'll like her. And Oh, uh, I, I've seen her picture. All kinds of matches will be announced at goneopro.ca. The tickets are on sale now. Front row has already been sold out, Pat Porter. And the meet and greets for Peyton Royce. Uh, there's a lot, so, so you can get so your So you're going to get me an 8x10 of uh, Peyton Royce when you come back from yes. that show? Yes, absolutely. Uh, signed uh, to, yes. to Pat Porter. I love you, Pat. I love you, no. Pat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But before that, Pat Porter. A couple of little hearts, yeah. Next Friday, you're at the in the boxing ring. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday on the show, we had uh, Coach Bruce Greenlaw. Yeah. We talked about uh, boxing for the full hour, and uh, of course, next uh, next Friday. At 7.30 at the Meriton Community Center, it's going to be St. Catherine's Boxing Club. Fight for the kids, McGibbon Gloves, and uh, it's going to be a big bout. There's going to be a lot of people there. All the big tables have been sold out, but there is still standing room only. Yeah. And I, I, of course, didn't get a VIP Yeah, you, I, you, I, I reserved you a spot. Well, guess what, Pat Porter? You can't come. <laughs> yeah, you know why? <laughs> why? It's a date night at the Haunt Manor for me. It's Halloween uh, season, and so, I, I got to spend. Kidding? I got to spend seventy dollars to to go in with my quick easy pass and uh, take a two hour, get scared out of my life. Yeah, right. Run through. I'd rather be at the boxing. Yeah, but unfortunately, I got date night now, so and the, it's just Haunt Manor. So you, you're gonna run around with the, the phony ghost jumping out of the ceiling. N- and, now that I'm in the dating uh, world, I have to give up all my bookings. You're, give you're up my more, more the than stuff in the that I enjoyed world. in life. Yeah. You are you are a snack. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are now. My money yeah. is spent, and uh, I'm running my credit up high and yes, dry. Dear. And yes, dear. Yeah, yes, dear. Yeah, that's right. I'm finished. What time are you going to be home, Jay? Oh, yeah. oh I'll be home 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're late, Jay. 5.05. Where you been? And and, yeah. and, and, and I don't think it's kind of hard for me to explain that I have to give up the boxing like if I were to go down, it's okay. To, I'll scalp your ticket. If I were to go down to the American Community <laughs> Center and tell Bruce, Bruce uh, Breampole and uh, and Joe Corrigan that uh, I had to give up the boxing to go to the Haunt Manor, they would laugh in my face. I think uh, they, they would. Yeah, yeah they, they would. would. I, I'm kind of chuckling right now. I know thinking you are. About that. I yeah. know you are. You're going in there with funny things jumping I know, out at you. I know. Yeah, and then your girlfriend. That's your, you, just so your girlfriend will grab you and say, "Oh, save me, Jay!" Oh, yeah, from the ghost. Now, on the other hand, if I said, "Hey, I'm not going to this haunt manor, and oh. I'm going to the boxing," then I gotta, <laughs> I gotta deal with that too. Too so, much trouble. Yeah, it just seems. Um Sacro, I got to sacrifice. Sac- sacri- yeah. Sacrilegious. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get in the ring on Friday. Yeah, have uh, a good time. People are always asking, you well, where's beer? Jay Moore? Where's yeah. Jay Moore? I'm going to say, Jay is out uh, tonight uh, with his uh, his girlfriend, and they're going to a haunt manor. That's right. Because they want to be afraid. <laughs> uh, he's got his little plastic uh, uh, yes. you know, Halloween pumpkin that he's going to take yes. in there, and he's going to fill it with little candies and candy corn. My and- apologies to Joe Corrigan <laughs> and uh, Bruce Greenpole and uh, everybody at the same time. <laughs> Everybody at the St. Catherine's Boxing Club, I'm uh, ashamed of myself. Uh, I, wore, I wore my toque in today, though, Pat Porter, if you noticed. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. St. Catherine's, St. Catherine's Boxing, Boxing Club. Club. Yes. So I'm yeah. in supporting uh, mode, and I, we're going to sell this event out, as, as you said, standing room only. That's right. And yeah. the fact that you get to get beer and everything, like how, what am I supposed to... St- 
you, do I smuggle my own beer into the hot manor? I don't know. You got a flask? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do I need a flask? Am I allowed to drink? I don't know. I'm giving up my Friday night boxing and it doesn't feel good, Pat. You see, these things are dark. They, they lead you down a dark hallway. Yes. So when you get into the really dark spot, that's when you pull the flask out, take a swig. Right. And then just as you're taking a swig, the lights come right. on. That's and exactly they got you. It. Oh, look at Jay Moore. He's getting drunk here. Maybe I, manor. maybe I go to edibles. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what yeah, to do. I know you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it yeah, out. for sure. I can't do it sober. Sorry, Radio oh. Land. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, Radio oh. Land. Oh, boy. Send your hate mail to uh, Infamous Jay Moore at uh, InfamousJayMoore.com. Thank you. There you go. All right. All right. we, we got to welcome a new uh, sponsor to uh, the shows here. Yeah. All right. This is uh, going to be Jay Casimir Scrubs. What does that mean? Jay, well, I'll tell you what Scrubs? it is. Scrubs? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had a chance to meet with uh, Ty, who's the the woman that has this uh, this big store in Niagara mm-hmm. Falls right downtown. Jay Casimir Scrubs, 4400 Queen Street. And what they have is uh, medical uniforms for all healthcare workers. And nurses, oh, excellent. Doctors. So, and, yeah. These aren't just your white uh, outfit, you know, from the 70s. They have a selection. They have a selection. Yeah, so it's if, you're, huge. You, if you're in the healthcare industry and you're a worker, you can get uh, uniforms down here. Sizes all the way from double XS, uh, double extra small, yeah. to five times large. Woo! Yes, we now, got it all, baby. I'll tell you why. The five times large enters into this because uh, Ty, uh, Ty's married to uh, the world's tallest man. What does that mean? He's tall. He's huge. The world's tallest man. Are you kidding he me? He lives right here in Niagara Falls. He's in the Guinness Book of World he Records. Is. He is? He is. The world's tallest you man? You got it. He's the world's tallest Owns man. Owns a scrub store? This is amazing. Yeah, well, that's his wife that okay. uh, looks after yeah. that. So you got to go 5X for the world's tallest man. But he uh, he does uh, do uh, themed backdrops, uh, custom backdrops uh, for uh, uh, Jay Casimir event planning. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Corporate and elegant event yeah. planning. And they have uh, everything from uh, kid-themed backdrops, uh, Sesame Street style, to custom party favors and treats for any theme, chip bags and beverages and treats, and they can help you with any event you need. So that's uh, our new uh, partner here, 4680q.ca. Yeah. J. Casimir Scrubs. I'll give you the, the website. You want to check it out. J. C A S I M I R. That's J. C A S I M I R dot com. Check Excellent. It out. Have a look at it. Beautiful. All right. I love. I love having a scrub sponsor. That's amazing. Well, I'm not buying you any clothes. No. You know well, why should I? I mean, you don't buy me anything anyways. You won't even buy me a cup of coffee. So forget about it. But Pat see, Porter, I bought, you, I bought you a hamburger about a month ago. I mean, yeah, really? you bought me a hamburger Whopper, from Burger King. Whopper Junior. A Burger King. Yeah, a small one. You couldn't even take me to a Harvey's. You couldn't <laughs> take me. To, you have Burger King? Are you kidding me? Well, I got you the Whopper Junior. Oh. Yeah. I got you a small soft drink, too. Pat, you know what? You've been doing yeah. a, a jokes and everything. It's not a and, joke. And, and, I did. I spent my hard-earned money to buy you a hamburger. Yeah, a Whopper Junior. Okay. Well, you inhaled that in about three seconds. I did. I was starving. And, I, and, I, and you know, shout-outs to Burger King, and I love the Whopper Junior. But you know what? What? That's all I like at Burger King because Burger King is. I'm sorry, they maybe good French fries. I, I know I'm going to get canceled, and I know that Rick Rose is going to be upset, and you're going to be upset. But no, it's not the greatest fast food joint. You brought me to the cheapest fast food joint you can find because that's all you'll ever pay for me. As far as you're concerned, I should be eating dog food in the streets. I should that's have taken you to the the uh, Tim you're, Hortons you're, you're drive-through. So, yeah, at least get me a Timbit get back. You, yeah, and give uh, me something that is edible. Package of five. King. Package of five Timbits for Jay Moore for two bucks. There you go. You're horrible. Yeah. <laughs> you're the worst person I ever worked with or worked for. You're yeah, horrible. Well, well, you're cheap. Sad, you're horrible. Sad, sad. You're a stooge. You, you you talk behind my back. You try to put me out of business. You, you complain to Rick Rose about me. You're horrible, Pat Porter. But I'm charming. <laughs> but charming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Well, for sure, yeah. Uh, you want to talk about another sponsor? You want to play some music? Well, tell, w- tell us what this show is all about today. That, I would love to do that, but you've been shilling yeah, for right, the top sh- of the show. I'll shut up. You've been talking about your boxing and yeah, talking about your yeah, sponsors, yeah. the world's tallest man, and yeah. everything else. Yeah, well, you're going to get to meet him, I'll tell you. He's going to take the his big, giant hand to the back of your head. Today, Pat Porter, this Saturday yeah. afternoon, we're about to get glorious because uh, we're doing an appreciation show, a tribute show for the Glorious Sons. Yeah. And we're doing this because they have a big show coming up tomorrow. Uh-huh. Now, it's a this new is a, album release, right? A big party, yes, right? Yes, it's kind of a party that you can't get tickets to. It's one of those. 
Yeah. We're just select people that know about the party get in. And it's happening at the Alma Combo tomorrow. And uh, like you said, just announced we are uh, celebrating the release of Glory, which we're going to play a little bit later on in this program, along with the kickoff of the Canadian leg of the Glory Tour with an intimate show at the Alma Combo uh, tomorrow October 16th, the album release show for A War on Everything at Jasper Dandy in 2019 was one for the books, and this will be no different. No tickets for this event, Pat Porter. Yeah. Uh, you just kind of hear about it on the down low. So let's do a tribute to Glorious Sons this uh, hour. Yeah, i got to say one more thing before you get into the music. <sighs> They performed at the uh, Canal Days in Port Colborne. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Huge crowds. And, Pat Porter, yeah. you're not going to like this. Uh-oh, here we go again. But I got word uh. that they're coming back in February. Oh, yeah. And one of the members of the band are exclusively going to be on... Our show? Hitting the 12, not your show, Power. You know, I know you don't like it. It's going to be on Hitting the 12. <laughs> With Kendra. Yeah. You and Kendra. Yeah, yeah. How'd you, how'd you get a it. guest We're like that? It. We're doing it. Without putting them on our show. Well, Pat Porter, I did reach out to have them on this uh, yeah. specific show, and they said that you gave nobody any time. Now, you you, you probably called and left, a, you left the phone ring one time and said, I can't find Pat. No, they said that, that we don't give enough time, that 10 minutes is not enough. And uh, Todd Gordon himself from last week from ECW with his book, Todd is God, available on Amazon. On, also said that he wants more time on this show, so I'm at a standstill. I have an, uh, I have well, a you know, the only way you're going to give anybody any more time is if you, uh, you know, put a sock in it, you know, because other, you're doing all the talking. It's I mean, not me. You got no time no, for no, anybody. No, it's not me. Kendra will have them talking for a half an hour. She just stretches out and goes on and on and wants to know about the blanket they bring on tour, what they eat, what they do, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> It'll be a Wednesday night show at 8 o'clock, though. i tell, tell you that much because that's hitting the 12 night. Yeah. yeah. Hitting the 12 Wednesday nights, 8 o'clock. You can check out all the old shows on the podcast as well as you can check out the Pat Porter Show. Hashtag. Yeah, Pat hashtag Pat. Pat Pat, you're all about the hashtag. You got yes. it, yeah. Hashtag Pat Porter Show. All the old podcasts are in the archives for everybody's show. Everybody. That's Just wait. Possibly. We're going to be on Spotify. We're going to be on Apple Music. When? We're gonna, when? Uh, You've been saying show. that to me since I started, and well. you haven't got me on Spotify or anything. When? You just when? wait. I need somebody to get it done around you're, here. You're going to thank me when you find oh, out yeah. this is this show is going to be going yeah. all over the world. That's We're going to have hundreds of thousands Maybe of followers. Maybe you can get me another Whopper Junior combo. Yeah, I'll get you the big one. The, yeah. the re real Whopper Play Junior. Play some music, Pat. Well, I'm so fed up with you. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Right, let's, let's hear something by uh, Glorious Sons. <laughs> hey, you shut up for a while, Jay. Here they are, 4680Q. Mother, I don't want to take my medicine. 24 years in the gutter again. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Everybody's acting like they're all alright. I can barely get myself to sleep at night. I'm sick of it. Take these pills I'm sick of being okay Against my will I'm losing it
There you go, SOS. That's called Sawed Off Shotgun, the Glorious Sons, here on the infamous Jay Moore Show with me. Right here, Pat, Pat Porter. Porter. That's yeah. it, man. Uh, yeah. Glorious Sons. Great band. A lot of people like these bands. Oh, this band, they Glorious Sons. They're, they're really good. And I like how they, it's the start of their tour uh, for, in Canada tomorrow at uh, the Elma Combo. Much like 5440, which we had uh, about a month or so ago, did the same thing. Album released the Canadian tour at the Elma Combo. Elma Combo, known for its music over the years. Some of the greats have played there from the Rolling Stones. Oh, yeah. From the, what the Beatles probably? I don't, uh, know. I don't know about the Beatles. Maybe Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones. for sure. I know Ronnie Hawkins has played there. Probably Jimi Hendrix, maybe. It could be. Yeah. Could be. Have to Look go. up the El Combo history on Google because uh, it's a historic venue. It is, including having even myself and Hutch Henrys do commentary there for you Victory there? Championship Wrestling no many kidding. many times. Yes. Wow. Which is also on YouTube. You could check that out. You got a you got a YouTube channel of your own. Infamous Jay Moore. Check that out. The yeah. Infamous Jay Moore on YouTube and uh, Infamous Jay Moore on Instagram and all you my social platforms. A lot of good stuff on there. I, yes. I'm surprised. I checked Thank it out. You. And I, I, I just go on to the YouTube channel and punch in the Jay yeah. Moore. You know what I posted the other day, Pat Porter? Picture me. Pic- well, a yeah. picture and a video of you. I remember yeah. the time you were trying to pick up uh, Trinity, the trailer park girl? <laughs> yes, that, that she was, was all over you. That yes. was at, uh, uh, what was that place? D- the Detour. Detour Music Detour Hall. Detour Music Hall, yeah. which is now closed. Downtown uh, St. Catharines. A great Rob Graham production. Rob Graham was there, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Paige Cop was there as oh, well. Oh, well, she has yeah. the great Paige Cop. Paige yes, Cop. Yes, yes. And uh, Trinity was there. Uh, yeah, you wanted to talk to her, and she, yeah. I put my arm around her. And she she just, stole my leather jacket. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too, too bad about that. I've never seen she, her. Again. She looked better in that jacket than you did. Yeah, for sure. Oh uh, yeah, that was an expensive jacket. I'm well, very upset about it. Went yeah. to a good place, Trinity of the uh, uh, Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, I think it was a daughter or somebody. I don't know. I didn't really watch the Trailer Park Boys. I didn't like it. You didn't and like I, it. I know people don't like me for saying like that. Like your lifestyle, you know. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't like it. Yeah, oh, I liked it. I thought it was funny as could be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, there was, there, there, you know, was a little guy lived in the shed. Bubbles. Bubbles. You Remember? look like Bubbles. Oh. That's exactly what you remind me of Bubbles. Oh, thanks a no, lot. No, no. You, you, I don't know. I didn't really picture you watching that. I pictured you more of a Barney Miller fan no, or something like no, that. No, or, that's, that's, or how about WKRP no, that's, that's in Cincinnati? Old. No, that's old stuff. No, you I didn't know. watch Dr. Johnny Fever when you were getting into I, the I radio business? I didn't find business? that it was all that exciting. You didn't like re- Les Nessman? You didn't like, you Well, know? it reminded me of when I worked in Chatham. What does that mean? Well, I mean, a small radio station, small yeah. town, you know, and you yeah. got characters like that filling yeah. it up. Not like uh, when you go to a big city, a big market, and you got uh, uh, professionals working with you. Yeah, well, I gotta, t- I gotta say something, Pat Porter. I well, know, I know, I'm in the studio, and that bothers you. And I know that you know. It doesn't bother me. All of this You're work five feet together. away, so that's but, fine. But I have not seen you happier. Than leaving corporate test- terrestrial radio for what you're doing. Oh, now. I got out of there. I I, <laughs> I, I have never seen you happier than Show what you are. Show me the door. I'm out of here at this moment. I'll tell you why. Why? In case nobody has heard the story, uh, the station I was at for almost 11 years uh, got new owners. Yeah. And they said, "Well, we know what we're doing. We're going to come in. We're, we don't need personality radio. We we just want to play the music. Yeah. So we'll save some money. Yeah. So all the uh, all the people that uh, you know people liked. That's right. A couple of exception, exceptions. Jeff Brown's still there. Yeah. But, uh, well, I like Jeff Brown. Yeah, he, he's good. Yeah. But everybody else said, no, nah, we're out of here. Yeah. So <laughs> almost in mass, nine of us <laughs> left. Everybody left the radio station. Oh, yeah. It was kind of recovered. Like, I'm sorry to peel the We can't uh, say what back. it was because we don't want to get sued. Oh, who cares? But, everybody uh, knows what it is. Here, yeah. we, are, here we are. Now we can't. <laughs> they know. <laughs> but the point of the story is not that. We're not throwing shade on that. The point of the story uh-huh. is I've never seen you happier. You can do what you want. You're comfortable. You play the music that you want. You have to put up with me. But uh, you I've, have, got, I've got Rick Rose for a boss. You know what Rick told me? He says, Pat, he says, just do what you, what you want to do. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, you have no... I say, well, I'm going to put Jay Moore on you here. Have no oh, that's fine. corporate boss coming from another uh, territory to tell you what to do. Coming and, you from know. somewhere up in northern Ontario, yeah. a 5,000 uh, yeah. people town telling me that I don't know how to read the weather properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's over and done. Yeah. <clears throat> Another one of our sponsors, uh, Tap and Crepes House. Right. Now, tonight, uh, Jake Murray was going to entertain. Yes, we got uh, a change in the schedule. Yeah, ja- Jake uh, called, and he's uh, not feeling too well, so he's yeah. going to take tonight off. Okay. So, Jamie Shea is going to be in there tonight. Yeah. From 8 to 11 o'clock. Beautiful. Uh, hours a little bit earlier. 8 to 11 o'clock tonight, 5074 Victoria Avenue in Niagara Falls, the Tap and Crepes House. 
uh, tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but uh, next uh, Friday, Brian Gardner is going to be there. Blake Halliday comes in on Saturday, the twenty first. Oh, that's rolling, Blake Halliday. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and then the twenty seventh, it's going to be Ryan Lunn who's back in. There. Excellent. Yes. Return engagement. Yes. Will Secord on the twenty eighth of October, and then uh, just uh, quickly the in November uh, lineup. Don Sexsmith on November third, he's a crowd pleaser. Rick Nahelli on the fourth. John Restis, who comes from Hamilton, that works with uh, uh, Melissa Marie. Uh, What's her last name? Walker. Osmond. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh. John, John Restis is going to be there right. on uh, the 10th of November. And then Jake Murray comes back on the 11th. Uh, Ryan Rucci uh, on the 17th. Blake Halliday returns yeah. on the 18th of November. Ryan Lunn on the 24th. And Evan Rotella on the 25th. Yeah, well, we've been getting nothing but good reviews on Tavern Craves. It seems to be the place where you can just drop in, have a crave, drop have a in. drink. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know the, the 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 acts of there has been is well booked. Yeah. It's it's overbooked. People have been playing there and having a good time. And uh, Tap and Craves has been coming a nice little uh, hideaway right there on Queen Street. Is. You know you can drop in and drop out at your play at your ple- yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. What please am I your, trying to please, say? Please yourself. Yeah. Please yourself. Yeah. So, self pleasure. Shout out so, to Tap and Craves. You guys are doing a great job, and uh, we're proud to have you. Right here on the infamous Jay Moore Show with Pat Porter and also the Pat Porter Show exclusively. Does that make any sense whatsoever? It does, except you you always phone me on Friday anyway, so it's never my show alone. I was talking to to Bruce Greenlaw yesterday. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden the phone rings and it's you. Yeah, so well, like, what do you want? The the problem with it is, as I said earlier, it just seems... I've been calling you for years, for one thing, Pat Porter, and... Now that I'm doing a show with you, and you know you have your own on Friday, I understand that. It just seems that I should call in because yeah, the fans like it. They do. They like you. They're and number two, where's it, Jay Moore? It just seems weird that you are always, always, all about St. Catherine's Boxing Club. You got stickers all over the place, all the clothes. You've been pro St. Catherine's Boxing Club for years and years and years. They use you as a ring announcer, and you have Bruce uh, Bean, Bean Pro. <laughs> In for 45 minutes to talk about boxing, you ran down the entire card, every yeah. athlete on it, the referee, the medical staff, everybody, the concession <laughs> stands. And when I want to we talk even, about we wrestling. We even about Pizza Jerry. Even Pizza Jerry. Yeah. And when I want to talk about pro wrestling, you give me no time whatsoever. I just sit back and let you talk. And you tell me that the, that the fans don't like wrestling and that the radio does not like wrestling on here and there's no wrestling. No, and, no. That, but the boxing good. you give 45 minutes to. Well, boxing Unbelievable. Special. Uh, Unbelievable. Re- wrestling is good, but uh, boxing is better. How's that? That's exactly it. You said uh, it right here live <laughs> on the air. That's exactly your feelings uh, about Jay everything. Moore. So yeah. we know where you stand. That's all. Uh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'll take full credit. I'll take my two minutes. Uh, once again, say November 18th. Go neopro.ca. That's the next you big show. You ready to take a breath? You ready to take a breath here? What? No, I see, I got no time. No, I got no time. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get that in again. We, we'll just talk about uh, what's coming to the Regency, Regency Athletic Resort. Okay. And then we'll get back to some more glorious Suns music because uh, they're going to be uh, tomorrow at the Elma Combo in Toronto. Excellent. But the uh, Regency Athletic Resort, Halloween party coming up. No cover charge, $600 in prizes. The costume contest and live music starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, Niagara Falls, right at the top of the uh, hill there. Mm. Take the uh, mountain road exit. You'll find the Regency Athletic Resort. Check them out. Find out about that Halloween party at the Regency. I'm looking forward to it because uh, ain't no Halloween party without a Regency party. It all blends in together. you got to be at the Regency for a Halloween party. I, I was talking to Esther. Who's the manager again? <laughs> well, by gotta, text message, gotta keep in touch. Are you sending little uh, emojis. I and said, who, you, who are you going to be for Halloween? Are you going to be a princess? No. Uh, what are you going to be? You're going to be a famous movie star. You're going to be Taylor Swift? No. He says I'm going to be Jay Moore. You're kidding me. Yeah, you're good. kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Sester. Well, we'll yeah. see. We'll see if she's going to be Jay Moore. Yeah. And Steve Grisbrook's going to go as me. Pat Porter and Jay Moore as Esther and Steve Grisbrook. That's perfect. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I don't know how much of that is true, but uh, I mean, it would be great because uh, then we get uh, paid for a booking at the Regency for the Halloween show. So thank you. Shout outs to Esther. Shout outs to Steve, Steve Grisbrook. Grisbrook. I'm having a hard time today, Pat Porter. I'm out of water. I got to take a water break. Take a water break. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll go in the back. Maybe there's a little yeah. water. All right. Can you play me some music? Dog's bowl back there. Oh, here we go. Well, <laughs> My Whopper Jr. combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Glorious Sons tribute show today. You're on the Jay Moore Show, the infamous Jay Moore Show. Oh, mama, down by the river. Oh, you know. 
know I'm a sinner Oh, sinner for love Center for Love. Mama, the Glorious Sons. Yeah. 4680 Q. You're loving it. I, I love this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. We got some more we're going to play before uh, the hour's up here as well. Yeah, Glorious Sons all hours long uh, in appreciation for the big show tomorrow at the Elma Combo for yeah. the release of the single Glory. Yeah. And uh, the kickoff of the Canadian uh, leg of the tour, Pat Porter. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be unbelievable. I know. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been down to Crystal Beach in the last uh, couple of weeks since yes, we were down there for the car show? When you got hit over the head with an acorn. An acorn hit me in the head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a big bump on your head, yeah. Uh, yeah the big bump is yeah. my head. What's going on at Crystal Beach, Pat Porter? They've got karaoke by, uh, by K. Uh, it's a cafe karaoke with Kristen. And this happens at the uh, Fridays, I guess, at the uh, Crystal Ball Cafe, the Beach oh, nice. Cafe. Yes. Erie Road, Crystal Beach. Yes. Now, the next event coming up is going to be October 27th. Uh, this is for, for basically for the kids. Uh, admission is, uh, you know, 10 bucks, But it's, it's a good idea if you want to sing to register in advance mm-hmm. at the Crystal Ball Cafe. Make sure yeah. you've got a spot there. Yeah. December 22nd, uh, they're also going to be there, well, in November, a couple of dates, November 10th and 24th. And, and then into January, the 12th and 26th, always something uh, good and Yeah, fun. we're having fun in Crystal Beach. Uh, yeah. You know, it may be a little bit damp for the weather right now for the beach part of it. But that doesn't mean the party stops on Erie no, Road. No, yeah. no. Really. Because uh, uh, the Crystal Ball Cafe is a great place to oh. go. And I can imagine doing karaoke there, Pat Porter. We, we were in there. Uh, it was, uh, I was having fun, yeah. It was a busy, busy weekend because yeah. of the car show. Good food, good drinks, good yeah. fun. Uh, beach people and uh, good times where the whole neighborhood knows everybody. And uh, I just have a great time oh, down there. It yeah. was fun, except for the acorn. Well, you know what? You got to put up with an acorn. Big deal. You're going to whine about it for two years? (laughs) No, no. What are you going to do? Cry about an acorn? Who cares? 
I was afraid to look up at the sky. After you know what that. the problem was, Pat Porter? You don't want to admit it. You were drunk. No, That's I don't. Yeah, you were I, drunk. I'm yeah, never you were drunk. Falling all over the place. I don't get drunk. You were wobbling all over the place. Jay Moore, you know, you know how much I would drink. If somebody buys me a beer, you know, I, I take a couple of sips and I yeah. set it down, and that's it. That's it for the night. Well, that's because you drink that stupid BS lager. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a taps. That's a Shane Christopher Neal and the Bobby yeah. Rocks uh, yeah. brand. BS live. You can get that live. Yes. You can get that uh, BS live uh, lager. That's at right. Taps. Yeah. Taps Brew House. Yeah. Taps uh, Brew House. Niagara Falls. We love Taps Brew House. Free shout outs to them. Yeah, say hi to Eric when you It's not there. a sponsor, but it's a place that we love and Eric, we've Eric supported and for many, many years. We've been on stage many times down there. Many, many times. Yeah. And uh, a great dealing with everybody, Eric and Ashley, like as you say, which I believe are getting married this weekend. By, by the way, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, if you're listening to, uh, your, well, if you're watching uh, Koshiko, you've got your TV, uh, number 700, channel 700. Uh, I'm going to be on the show tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. You're what? I'm going to be on the show. It's pre-taped. Oh, on, on TV. On BS Live, yeah. BS Live Rocks. Oh, my God. Uh, I've got a 10-minute segment. Why didn't anybody call A 10-minute segment? Who gave you a 10-minute segment? Shane Christopher Neal and oh, Bobby Rock. Oh, God. You know what? I'm so <laughs> sick of those two. Yes, ah, come I'm on. sick of those yeah, they two. They do good work. Come on. They put me on. Come on. They they also had uh, uh, Pink Floyd Niagara on there. They had, uh, oh, they it had, just they kept had getting Jen worse. Downey. Yes, of course. They had uh, the Tina. Click, the Tina? click. The click that sticks they together. Had Alan you and Shane and, and, and Jen Downey <laughs> are all this little click that sticks together. The Cat Augustine was down there Cat taking Augustine pictures. Cat Augustine was down there. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A whole bunch of people down there. Well, you know what Shane reminds me of? I'm right. sorry to say right. this, Pat Porter, but this, 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 it's like yesterday I was in the line at Freedom, the phone company, Yeah, and I had to get a new wire for my phone because every time you get a new phone, you got to buy all the accessories, and it costs you thousands of dollars for all this stuff. I just want to get power to my phone. Yeah, And, uh, of course, I'm waiting in line, a long line, and I just got to get a stupid power cord, and who cuts through this line but one of these, one of these rich-looking, slick back hair with the stupid, you know, ski-looking goggle glasses that cost about four hundred dollars. The stupid Michael Coors uh, shirt, which is arrogantly, arrogantly got written on the side sleeve, Michael Coors, like it's a five hundred dollars shirt. Cuts the line, cuts right in front of everybody, like we're all peasants, and, huh. and, and and says that he needs to do this and he needs to do that. And I had to tell him, hey, buddy, get out of the line. Like you just want to show off all your stupid crap. And that's what Shane's like too. He wants to show off his stupid tattoos and his rings and his nose rings and his piercings <laughs> and where he drinks and where he flies to to do these stupid little hosting shows. And and these are the kind of people, Pat Porter, that get me under my skin. Now you got me riled up. You got me upset on my own show. You got people that are turning this off now because they don't want to hear this stuff but i gotta get this out that's what it reminds me of don't wear this stupid stuff where you're just trying to be somebody that you're not be he the per- he's yes. a rock icon in a Niagara. rock icon what, what has he done what has he done he can't even play the drums he put me on his show oh that's how it comes back to because <laughs> he put you on your stupid koji go <laughs> show tv show yeah several times now several times yeah be a slide rocks tomorrow uh, what is it eight, eight o'clock, o'clock, Porter eight o'clock on, tomorrow, uh, on uh and what is your 700 TV yeah 700 on koji hd they got hd there that's too right. yeah so yeah. check that out bs live bobby rock oh yeah yeah, yeah you like bobby rock Lead singer of Fun House, one of my yeah. favorite bands oh, yeah. in Niagara, yes. Yes, yeah, he, of course. He, he hangs out with this, Shane, and you have nothing against uh, Bobby. Bobby's a good guy. Yeah, well, Bobby didn't go to all my ex-girlfriends and try to pick them up or anything like that, did he? <laughs> Bobby just does his shows and goes home. Uh, you want to hear some you more think music? it's funny, yeah. Uh, of course it's funny. Play me some music, Pat <laughs> Porter. Right. This, again, the Glorious Sons, uh, in honor of their appearance tomorrow night at the El Combo in Toronto. <laughs> come at all you leave your peace at home that's your call it never paid to be merciful come every year don't come at all
Yeah, Pat Porter. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, glorious sounds there. That puts you in a good mood, doesn't That's, it? I like that stuff. Yeah, you're rocking stuff, in this yeah. place. Throwing it, your it almost sounds like a, over the place. like classic rock, only modern. Yeah, you, know, you got it. Yeah, you got it. It's good stuff. So yeah, we, we got who, some more. Who else right now is doing a, an appreciation for the glorious sons? One hour on the radio. Who else is doing it? Only here at four six eighty Q on the Infamous J Moore Show with Pat Porter. Can you hear that, Pat? That's right. Right now, only one in the world right yeah, now. Yeah, an appreciation for them. the for their show tomorrow at the Elma Combo it's happening no tickets available I'm sorry uh-huh. it's like you gotta know somebody to get in there kind of thing and uh, that's what makes it cool but uh, that doesn't stop us from doing a appreciation a shout out to the Glorious Sons who've been great to us over the years played down here in Niagara many many times and we'll be back here in February and uh, tomorrow at the Elma Combo and it's gonna be great wow yeah yes and their new single Glory we'll be playing later on in the hour Pat Porter maybe we'll wrap up with that I don't know yeah, what you say. yeah. good idea we still yeah. have another uh, yes. over 20 minutes yes. or so of, yes. of this crazy stuff and we us. know that you got a briefcase full of sponsors that oh. you, you wanted to t- keep talking about over and over again well, are, are, we, are we done with that no we're no. not done with that we have yet to talk about Herndor State Winery yes, today. the great Herndor State Wineries. Yeah, yes, that was two weeks ago today. Yeah, you were they taking had their craft show, and you were doing a photo shoot down there. I went down there. I found Angel. We took some pictures. Yeah, and, yeah it was a great time down there. Yeah, they made uh, tons of money for community care. Absolutely, and collected lots of. Uh, uh, food that uh, you know that people brought along yeah. as well. Yeah, we don't have the numbers in front of us. I, I got them in uh, my briefcase, but uh, I read them on the last show. You can yeah, get that in the archives. It, here it's quite a bit. It's quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. yeah. You know who else we had to talk about? Joe White. Stage, Joe White. Stage Lights yes. Productions. Always putting on shows all over the place. Oh. Always has the Golden Eagles playing. I noticed. Yeah. Coming yeah. to Fergus, and uh, I think it's November second with the Golden Eagles. Up okay. To Fergus. Yeah. And then he's got another show on uh, at Club Roma. Is that Abamania, maybe? No, that's uh, that's another show that's coming later on. I oh, haven't even talked about that It never stops. Yet. Yeah, it never yeah. stops. Abamania. Yeah. Do you say Abba or Abba? I th- I thought it was Abba. Is Abba? it Abba? It's Abba. Okay. Well, it was way before my time. <laughs> I didn't listen to Abba, but I didn't. Let's see. They came out in the late 70s, and you yeah. were right, a little kid. Right yeah, well, around. I was born in 75. Right, so mid, running around with your, mid-70s, your, your I was tiny born, so I didn't really listen to Abba. I'm grabbing sorry. Grabbing your mother's apron saying, I, I, I want something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, give me a chocolate bar. Huh? Right. Yeah, that was Jay Moore back yeah. in the 70s. Eh? Yeah. Well, I, in the 70s, was uh, you know doing a lot of stuff. Probably Which were. I, yeah. I can't, I can't mention most of it. Well, they, you know? you, I think you can say acid on the radio now, Pat Porter. <laughs> Basically, didn't. that's what you were doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not admitting to you, anything. No, of course you're not. No. I'm telling you what you were doing because I know those. You stories. don't know what yeah, I was doing. I do know. I, do know. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to some old, some of those old broadcasters yeah, yeah, old, I used to yeah. work with. Yeah. Well, we're not old. <laughs> we're just experienced. Right. That's all. Of course. Of course, they're all dead now except for me. Yeah, you're still doing radio with yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to show me the ropes, and you're doing a failing job at it because uh, I haven't able, I haven't well, you, been able. You're to. just waiting to pounce on this and take this show for yourself. <laughs> well, you know what? Take I my mean, Friday I, show it, for yourself. It, it just seems like I'm never gonna get there. It seems like either either you don't like me or I don't have the experience or somebody doesn't like me in Niagara. And uh, it just seems like every time I make an attempt, whether it's been managing, or, even though I'm great at it. Yeah, yeah. It's just somebody on top of me holding me down. And then Pat Porter, I'm staring right in your face. That's no, what no, you do all the time. Not you me. You held me down for years. You knew that I would take over the radio scene down here. And you and your buddies like Shane Christopher Neal have held me down for years, Pat Porter. And you think that I don't know. And look what happens. You get exposed on the air for what you really are. I tell you, you just put a potato in your mouth for a second. And you're going to what? Blame it on management? No, That's I'm going to... guys I got something to say, but I can't get a word in until right. you take a breath. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I was on uh, the show with uh, Shane, Christopher Neal, and Bobby Rock uh, okay. a couple of weeks back, which yeah. you can catch, by the way, tomorrow night. Oh, yes, tomorrow night, <laughs> HD 700 anyway, on the RTV. you watch that show, yeah. there's a part of the segment that I was on where I talked about you. What? Yeah. What did you say? They said, uh, where's Jay Moore today? We thought he was going to pop in and make an appearance. I said, well, no, he can't. He was busy. You were doing wrestling or something that day. That's right. Yeah. So uh, he says, well, how did you guys get together? I told him the story about uh, how uh, uh, the salesperson at the station I was at was giving some extra plugs, extra uh, added value to uh, the sponsor, which was a wrestling uh, promotion company. Right. And uh, so they wanted me to interview the wrestler. And I said, sure, I'll do it. So the uh, first guy I had 
I won't mention his name. Okay. But you know him. Yeah. His initials are CD. <laughs> and <laughs> so I got him on the phone. And I said, well, let's let's talk about wrestling. Well, yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. Then. Yeah. Well, what do you want to tell me about wrestling? Oh, you know, I've been a wrestler for a long time. Oh. Anyway, when, I, when they woke me up, <laughs> you know, I, I, I went back to the saleswoman yeah. and I said, I'm not doing that guy. He's boring. I'm not yeah. putting him out of the air. She says, well, we'll get you a different wrestler next week, next week to promote. I said, okay, fine. I'll try that again. Next week, I, I get another wrestler to talk to. Same thing. Well, wh what's new in the wrestling world? Yeah. Well, you know, tag, tag teams. We do tag teams. And, uh, yes. Shoot me now. Yes, you know? you're absolutely right, Pat Porter. <laughs> so, you know. So then I went back to the saleswoman and I said, "I'm not doing this for you. Yeah. Forget it. I'm not talking to these wrestlers." She says, "Well, just give me one more chance." She says, "I was talking to the promoter, uh, which his initials are CL, by the way." <laughs> and, <laughs> and he says he had a guy. That uh, is not a wrestler, but a wrestling manager, the right. manager of yeah. champions. Yeah. I said, well, who's that? Well, his name is uh, Jay Moore, infamous Jay Moore. Yeah. I said, oh, he calls himself infamous, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's try him. We'll put him on. Okay. So I put you on the air that uh, next week, and, whoa, well, you ran off with the show. Yeah. People loved it. They, was calling, they were calling and writing and saying, we want more of that guy. We want more. He's so funny. They did. It was great. And then what happens, Pat Porter, is like what you're talking about with a lot of those wrestlers that you get on. They just say, you know, uh, like how you mentioned Mr. CL is just like, well, Sunday night at the Ring Community <laughs> Center, I'll be there and I'm, I'm in a big match with uh, Monster Congo Kong and uh, we're going to get rowdy and we'll see you there in St. Uh, Catharines. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. You know. So, yeah, that's not what it's all about. It's then about you the came on yeah. and I asked you a few questions. You had the answers and then you started taking shots at me. Right. Said, Who is this guy that dares yes. to, to take shots yes, at me at on my own at show? The legendary Pat Porter. I was only taking shots at Pat Porter. Uh, you know, I didn't really real, realize how radio worked back then, and I didn't realize how 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 held down you were with the corporate level of, of they tell you oh, what songs to play and what to do, and I couldn't even request a song, and I just thought that, hey, this is what's got to change the radio, and guess what? <laughs> you changed it. We both left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was seven years ago. Right. And so here we still are doing yeah. the show. You're still yelling at me. That's right. But you can get the uh, the history of the whole sh uh, the, the whole shakedown. What you just talked about tomorrow. <laughs> the shakedown, yeah. HD seven hundred on BS Live. Shout out to uh, Bobby and Shane and yeah. uh, having a ten minute segment with Pat Porter and of course, well, actually it was eleven minutes. Oh, eleven. You got yeah. it right. Down. I, I, yeah, said, yeah. I said. I said. What did they edit it something out? Are you going to be upset? No, I, I saw it. They had it on uh, Wednesday night, and I saw it. It was fine. Oh, this is a replay. Well, yeah, they replay it every it's now. It's that then. hot of an item that you got. It's going to get replayed. <laughs> well, they had the uh, they yeah. had the uh, uh, the Niagara Niagara's uh, Pink Floyd Niagara on. Okay. So people wanted to see you. Uh, so they want to get the ratings they in. They wanted to see Tina. Yeah. They wanted to see Jen Downey. Yeah. They want to see me. So another I show with you and Jen Downey. Well, she, I, I wasn't in that segment. That's why I wasn't invited, because Jen Downey was down there. You wanted to see Jen Downey by yourself. That's Here exactly we go yeah, again. That's it. Here that's it. we go. That's it. Keep Jen Downey away from me because you want her all to yourself well, because she thinks you're charming and your little teddy bear. I am and charming. And she loves her little Pat Porter. She, she likes yeah. the big Pat Porter. Oh, oh would you stop it already? <laughs> would you stop it well, already? What can I say? I'm trying to be humble, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to be humble. Hard when, to be humble. <laughs> when you're a hip-shaking fool like Mr. Well, Pat Porter. There you, yes. there you go. Yeah, you saw me dance. Yeah, I sure did. At the Leander Boat Club. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, the, the, destroy that video. Wherever that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your girlfriend was taking a it's picture in the, of that. It's in, out in the ether. I made her delete oh, it. Yeah, I said, get, get, that. get that off your phone. Get <laughs> yeah. it out Get it out of the cloud. Get it out of everything. Uh, get it deleted and gone. I was ashamed. I said to myself, I said, never again am I going to be on a dance floor. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Look what you did. Do that. Look what you did. I haven't been back on the dance floor. Well, you'll be then. back there. You'll be back at the Leander Boat Club, Pat Porter. Well, maybe. They, yeah. got a sh they got a show coming up. I was talking to uh, Rob Platsko, who's uh, the promoter for the Leander Boat Club yes. in Blues in Hamilton. Yes. And Sonny Del Rio, sax player, yes. is going to be having an 80th birthday party soon. That's going to be a big event. Oh, that will be a big one. Yeah. Who's so. covering that one? I, I don't know. I, I just found out about that the other day, so I know that's coming up. It's the um. Leander Boat Club. So I'll get the information. We'll get that back to you soon. And uh, maybe we'll get up there and introduce uh, Sonny Del Rio. You never know. Uh, 
if Rob Plotsko decides he wants to put up with us again. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. He's happy to see us. Uh. Sure he is. Pat I'm sure. No, I have a great time down at the Lander Boat Club. Good have guy. a great time. We're yeah. at all the shows, and we will always be at all the shows because, uh, let's be let's be honest with the audience, uh, there are two of our more highlighted shows of the year, the ones that we look forward to, the ones that we never let go. No matter what's happening, we are at the Leander Boat Club. Hamilton's hometown yeah. Christmas yeah. every year. And yeah. uh, the tribute to, uh, tribute to, to what's his name? Yeah. Uh, Harmonica player. Uh, King Biscuit Boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, don't was, know. I was checking out to see if you remembered. I would, well, I had on my mind Jack DeKaiser, who I was thinking about uh, uh, pulling in for the show, which I'd hate to say on air because I know you're going to steal it for your show, but word on the street is I think he has a future date at the Leander Boat Club. Ah, I, I saw that. I believe that he does, yeah. yes. So uh, while my mind was on Jack DeKaiser, I was trying to look up that information. Um, you kind of stumped me, Pat Porter. Well, and we'll, now we'll I have the you're information gonna do, by now next you're week. you're going to steal my guess because you'll have Jack DeKaiser on the Pat Porter why show. Not? Yeah. You, why not? Why not? After I said, let's have him on here, which is we are part of this show as well. But you just want to steal the credit. Yeah. I know what you're going to do. I know what, what, what you're going to do. do. You're going to steal Jack DeKaiser. Why not? Yeah, why not exactly? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable the way you treat me. I treat you. I let you, I I let you on my show. Stupid I answer your Junior stupid hamburger. phone call Yeah, every every Friday no, afternoon. This, this is crap. Yeah. This I, is crap. I, I have uh, important things going on. I really wish that that wrestling promoter, Mr. CL, never, ever introduced me to you in that old I radio station. Not. I wish no, this no. never happened because no. it's been nothing but hell for me. <laughs> you wouldn't have a job. For seven years. <laughs> for seven years. Seven years of fun. And the fans don't like it anymore. They don't want to hear us arguing in this culture of... They're tired of hearing be, you rant and rave all the time. Got, maybe you got to be friendly to everybody. You're or like you a likable guy like me that just talks and tells it like it is. And, and you come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pat Porter, all I ever wanted to do for seven years was... Plug my stupid wrestling show. Yeah. And not once do you let me do it. Well, you're you doing it all the me. time. Talking about wrestling. Is that so bad? You bring in these big wrestlers like uh, Tid, T-I-D. Yeah. <laughs> he, by, twice my size, the guy sits in the corner and right. fills up the whole room. Yeah. And he starts mouthing off about uh, old-time wrestling. Yeah, well, shout out to Notorious TID who will be back here. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's eh? coming back every time that we do a Neo show. I Primo Scardino, he's, he's another one coming in. Yes, he'll be coming in, and uh, I will uh, make sure to tell them what you said. I'm sure they're listening right I now. I want you to bring in uh, some of the female wrestlers. They, I can't have you around the female wrestlers. It's Why bad not? enough with you around Jen Downey. You go around with Jen Downey, you'll be taking <laughs> selfies and stuff. And no, 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 uh, no. I, I think that's a, no, a no, good no, idea. No, 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 it just uh, no. It puts me in a bad spot, Pat Porter. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> bad spot. Yeah. Go stand in the corner. That's it your puts spot. Me in a bad spot. You want to hear some music? Let's play some glory. <laughs> Or his sons. The only way I can get you to put, put a sock in your All mouth right. and shut up for a yeah, while. It's play time. some music, yeah. Put your night dress on. Have a last cigarette and leave one out for the morning. Cue the lights of babe. I'm too damn tired. We can't fuck tonight. I work a double no more. Cue the lights and baby, shoot that gun. Cue the lights and baby, rock this wrong.
All right, there you go, Jay Moore. Yeah, there you go, Pat. It's called Kill the Lights, uh, Glorious Sons. Yeah, Glorious Sons Appreciation Day here at 4680Q with the tribute show here on the Infamous Jay Moore Show with Pat Porter. Yeah. And Pat Porter, we went all hour without me asking you how your Thanksgiving was. I know it's old news, but uh, I know it's your favorite holiday because it's uh, the only time you get any sort of breasts. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I've been waiting all show for that. That was great. Uh, Thank you. You got me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, it, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> no, I know. I, uh, maybe I know. not. I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. I know. That's okay. I apologize. No, that's, that's, it was you a know, bad joke. You don't mean it. It's bad taste, bad humor. No, by no, me. that's fine. I, yeah. I, I forgot what I, I had to eat for Thanksgiving. Well, you probably didn't have turkey because peanut, I know you. Peanut butter sandwich. I know sandwich. you wouldn't go through that word. Yeah, it'd be peanut butter sandwiches. And at most, maybe you would put some effort into some KD. Well, yeah, yeah. Little craft dinner, yeah. yeah, yeah, the colonel, yeah, yeah, little hot dogs and wieners and <laughs> beans and weenies. All yeah, right, I had a great time on the farm. We uh, stocked up with some ham and uh, and some turkey and uh, shout outs to April Trotter. Oh yeah, uh, for putting that all together and yeah. uh, and of course uh, we all got drunk. Uh, you're kidding. Yeah, we you, got you drunk. Too? We got drunk. Stumbled around in the field and uh, went to bed. In the in the vines. <laughs> in the vines out in yes, Niagara. Yes. Like you're running through the vines late at night. Running through the vines and uh, howling like the dogs, much like the uh, the scurvy dogs. You just do that. Woo! <laughs> Ow! See, see people what I have to work with? This, <laughs> I this, know. This is my radio horrible, partner. Yes. You're talking about all this crazy stuff. Uh, I've destroyed. He's running through the woods uh, drunk. With, uh, I've destroyed your entire career. Uh, How does that feel, Pat well, Porter? Yeah. At least uh, I, I, I can it. save the show because I'm a decent, upstanding person. <laughs> right. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes. Unless I'm sitting. But... <laughs> Pat Porter, we got to wrap it up. I'm, uh, I'm done. Yeah, you got no more plugs. You got no more information. You're I'm done, done talking about myself. Yeah. Uh, I got to go to Wellinport tonight for a stag and dough. Oh. That's a $365 Uber ticket for me to get there. <laughs> yeah. Round trip. And uh, I don't know what the hell is going to happen out there, but it's going to be a good time. And, stag uh, and dough, you're going to sell your 50 50 tickets. Yes, and but don't it, forget to see. Take uh, some money. <laughs> don't forget, go neopro.ca for your wrestling tickets for November 18th. Uh, tickets going fast for the meet and greet for uh, Peyton Royce. Uh, Sean Spears is also there defending his title against Tarek and Pat Porter yeah. will be uh, Friday night at the Meriden Community Center while I'm at Haunt Manor having date night. <laughs> I won't be able to enjoy the boxing, which merely really... Uh, we'll, we'll videotape it for take you. Take my man card now. Just take it now. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, Pat Porter... You're uh, going to be at Haunt Manor Friday on night. boxing night. Wow. McGibbons. McGibbons. McGibbons, McGibbons Boxing McGibbon. Club, yes. Go see uh, Bruce yeah. Greenlaw and go see uh, Joe, Joe Corgan, Corgan there. Yeah. And uh, Johnny Ferrarachi's going to be there. Shout out to Pizza Red Jerry Red Smith's well. going to be there. Yes. Pizza Jerry and Mike Strange is going to be there. Yes. Yeah. It's always a good time. Arlington Crane. All kinds of great people. Always a good there. time with the St. Catherine's Boxing Club. It will be standing uh, room only, so get your tickets. It's always uh, a big lot, a walk-up, like as Bruce said yesterday. Yeah. Always a walk-up, but it's best to get your tickets in advance so that way yeah, it's secured. It. You and got uh, a week. You're not going over the fire code or anything stupid. Are you, you going to can it while we, we run right. it out of time here? Let's play the new single I, I want to play Sons. the whole thing, yeah. Okay. Do this, is, this is called Glory. This is the one that it's all about tomorrow night at the Elma Combo, right? We'll see you tomorrow night at the Elma Combo. Glory from the Glory Sons and Miss Shane Moore Show at 4680Q. Next weekend. Bye. What happens next? Tell me a story. Put on an accent. Give it some glory in the British rain that makes you feel insane. Makes you feel human to inflict your own pain. Hey, what's your deal? Come on, who cares? The elevator's waiting Why would we take the stairs? Take it right on to the top And let your soul fly It's such a pretty view Just don't ask yourself why Are we just a few spirits Starting to lose our
Some glory. 